name is Tarun Jaitley. I am an SE in the in the enterprise West team. And today, what we are going to do is we are going to do a demo of the LLM Cortex functions available within Snowflake. So, in this demo, what we are going to do, we are going to create a database called Product, and then we are going to create a table called Product Reviews in that database with three fields date purchased, product name, and review. Now what we're going to do is, we are going to go and insert five product reviews in this table. As you can see, these are those five product reviews with the product name and the reviews. Now we are going to use Snowflake Cortex functions to do text analytics on top of these reviews. So these are the new Cortex functions available through Snowflake where you can pass a specific model and a specific prompt to generate a response. So in this case, I'm going to use the open source Mistral Large uh, uh, LLM that's available on the Snowflake platform through the Cortex functions and ask it a question, what are the large language models? As you can see, it gave me a response here. There are, a lot, there are quite a few large language models that are available through Snowflake for the complete function. And a complete list of those large language models is available here in Snowflake documentation. Snowflake recently launched another large language model called Snowflake Arctic. And we can use that also to ask questions of our data. So in this case, I'm going to replace Mr. Large with Snowflake Arctic, Arctic and then execute the same query. And what it does is it is going to use Snowflake's Arctic large language model to give the same response. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the same Mr. Large large language model to generate a response for each row of the reviews that I had inserted into my products table. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to ask the large language model to critique the review and give me a response in bullet points. So as you can see, took the review as an input and it gave me a response in bullet points for those specific reviews. So I'm going to look at the first review, uh, which says I bought these keys for powder and they are amazing. And as you can see in the response, it says that the review is positive and enthusiastic and so on and so forth. So it did it, did it for each one of these reviews. Uh, Snowflake also has a Cortex function to summarize the reviews. And this is what we are going to do here. We are going to pass all the five reviews and it is going to generate a summary for each one of those reviews. Uh, we can ask specific questions of the reviews and ask uh, and get responses for it. So in this case, I'm asking the question, does this review mention weather? And as you can see, it actually gives the response of which specific reviews mention weather along with the score of how frequently the weather is mentioned in that specific review. Uh, we can do a sentiment analysis on those reviews. So sentiment analysis basically is on a score of minus one to one, where minus one being the most negative to plus one being the most positive. And then in this example, as you can see, the first review, uh, as it says, I bought these keys for the powder and they're amazing, is a positive review. And so the sentiment is 0.89. 
But if you look at the fifth review, the goggles are terrible for skiing and snowboarding. It's a negative review. So it gives it a minus 0 0.87 scale. So using the cortex sentiment functions, we can do review analysis. Uh, Snowflake also provides a translate function to give to translate reviews or text from one language to another language. So as you can see, the third review in this example is in Italian. And we can basically use the Snowflake Cortex Translate function to convert it into English. And that's what it does. It takes it. This is the Italian review, as you can see. And as you can see, this is the English response. Uh, response to it. We can also do RAG-based analysis using Snowflake's Cortex Embed Text function. So in this example, what I have done is I have created a table called Wiki. And in this table, we have some text data, which is product and supplier data. Now this data could be uh, coming from, uh, you could extract it from PDFs and load it into Snowflake, or it could be, you could do bulk load from any other different sources, or this data could be streaming in from uh, other different sources. So in this, in for my example, what I have done is I have taken this wiki table and have loaded the product supplier data in it. Using the Snowflake Cortex embed text function, we can create embeddings for this text. And as you can see, I'm going to look at the content here. So this was the content, and this is the embeddings that have been created for this content. Now, Using a large language model, which is Llama 70B chat, which is available through the Cortex functions, I'm going to use the complete function. And then I'm going to ask a specific question for that embeddings, from the embeddings that I have created. This is what is going to basically uh, keep the context of my question within the, within the text that I want to ask that question from. So I'm going to execute this specific query where it is going to convert that question that I have to embeddings and then use the vector L2 distance uh, function, compare it with the embeddings that I have already created, and then give me a response of what, which is the most closed uh, embedding to the embedding set that I already have. So let me execute this. And basically it gives me that answer that the suppliers of this specific product, the question that I had asked, are Mountain Gear Company. So in this demo, as you have seen, we have gone through all the different Cortex LLM functions that are available. And we are also able to do a RAG based analysis on a text using Cortex functions. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the demo.